Hello and welcome back to this next session of uh, interesting questions solving in interesting ways. <laughs> Fine. So here ag again I am with you with a question based on numbers and it also again relates with the factors, right? So as usual as always I am giving you some time for uh, uh, solving on your own. So you can again as usual pause your video, take a screenshot but solve this question first. I am repeating solve this question on your own first and then we shall solve it together. Fine. Your time starts now. Okay, so I hope you have tried and uh, I'm sure many of you must have solved also. Let's see what are the key points which we should uh, be careful about uh, in this question. So first thing is that we should read the question very, very carefully. Read the question very, very carefully and that's true for all the questions. That's there for all the things. So read the question very carefully. Sometimes we miss very important uh, information given in the questions, statement, words, phrases. We miss that sometimes. So that's why read and reread, right? Reread. And you may have to give a third time read also. That is also that also may be the case, right? Multiple times we may need to read. What is the meaning of the question? What is being asked of me? What I'm supposed to do here? Okay, let's read it together. It says a natural number n has a total of 48 factors, right? So there's a natural number, there's a positive integer uh, which has 48 factors. Uh, is there only one positive integer? Is there only one natural number which has 48 factors? No, there are many, right? There are many. There is no limit basically, there are unlimited. <laughs> yes, actually there is unlimited. There are certain formats of numbers. Uh, you can find out their prime factorization, uh, what would be the form of the number, right? But uh, there are infinitely many prime numbers which have exactly 48 factors, right? So what this question is talking about, let's see. So a natural number, n has a total of 48 factors. Question is, find the maximum possible ways of writing this number as a product of two co-primes, right? So let's see this maximum part later. Maximum ko baad mein dekhte hain. Uh, if we have a fixed number, let's look for that part, the other part of the question. We want to write the number as a product of two co-primes. How many possible ways are there, right? We will look for this maximum part afterwards. Because in this case, number is also not fixed, right? Number is not fixed. There are many numbers which have 48 factors and there are many such numbers. So among those so infinitely many numbers, uh, for any number, it could be maximum possible ways. So how many maximum possible ways are there uh, to write this number as product of two co-primes? So that is a question here. So this includes many things, right? So this is a multi-layered question. So first you need to understand what is a co-prime. Do you know what are co-primes? Yes, the two numbers which do not have anything common, they are called co-primes, right? Uh, for example, if I say 4 and 9, are they co-prime numbers? Yes, sir. In me aapas mein kuch common nahi hai other than one. Uh, that means there is no highest common factor greater than one. So whenever two numbers have highest common factor of one, they are called co-prime numbers. Fine, they are called co-prime numbers. Okay, so uh, we have understood what is the meaning of co-prime numbers which do not have any common factor greater than one or whose highest common factor is one always. Now question is how to write the number as product of two co-primes. So how do we understand that? Basically we want to write the number as product of two co-prime numbers which do not have any common factor. Hey na? Uh, so let's take some example how to understand that and let's try to conjecture that, right? So there could be some pattern, right? Uh, so if we are taking a number say 14 only, I am taking number 14. So 14 is a small number, you know that uh, we can write it as 2 into 7. That's a prime factorization here, right? So and 2 and 7 are uh, co-primes also because they do not have any common factor other than 1. So that is one way of writing uh, this number 14 as product of two co-primes. Is there any other way can you suggest? Yes. What is that other way? The other way is I can write it as 1 into 14 as well, right? We are not supposed to write the number as product of two prime numbers. No, we are here. We want to write the number as product of two co-prime numbers. And now 1 and 14, uh, they do not have any common factor greater than 1. So they are also co-prime numbers. So basically there are two ways, right? There are the two ways 
we can write this number 14, uh, which was having only two prime numbers. And there are two ways to write this number as product of two co-prime numbers, right? Uh, two co-primes, as a product of two co-primes. Okay, let's check another number. Uh, how these ways can increase? Will they be always two? Certainly not. It depends upon the prime factorization, the number of prime numbers in this number, isn't it? Let me take another example. Uh, if I take a number 12, so the prime factorization of 12 is basically 2 square into 3, right? 2 square, that is 4 into 3, right? This is 4 into 3, that is one way. 4 and 3 are co-prime numbers. They do not have any common factor. So that is one way. Is there any other way which will be valid here? So this is a valid way, certainly. If I uh, move this 1, 2 from here to the another number, it becomes 2 into 6, right? So will 2 into 6 be a valid way? No. Why? Because they are not co-prime now, because they both have a common factor of 2, right? So now their highest common factor is not 1. So they are not co-prime numbers, which means the thing which I did, uh, I moved this 1, 2 from this first number to the second number was not a valid move. So this is not a valid combination. Uh, where I could write the number as product of two co-primes. This is not a valid one. So is there not any other way? Yes, there is. As earlier case, uh, I can move this two square entirely to the second place, right? So this number would look like 1 into 12. Now that is another second uh, feasible way or possible way. So there again, we are having two ways. So basically, Whenever we are having two different prime numbers in the factorization of a number, whatever be its power, always there are going to be two ways, right? So that's one thing we have observed. So if there are two primes, if there are two primes in the prime factorization, so there are going to be two ways. Yes or no? Right. So whatever be the power of prime number, that's what we have seen because uh, this uh, entire group of prime numbers powers need to be kept together, right? So whether it is separated from the other prime number or it is merged with that, but it is to be kept together, we cannot uh, distribute it, right? Because that will not uh, keep our product as product of co-prime numbers. That's one thing we have understood. Now, what about if we increase the number of prime numbers? Let's take a smallest case. Uh, if I take three prime numbers, so 30, uh, for example, this is 2 into 3 into 5, all right? Okay, now let's try to write this number as product of two co-prime numbers. So what could be done? Uh, I can uh, write this number as product of, uh, of one single prime number separately and two uh, prime numbers, product of two prime numbers separately. So that could be product like that. So I can keep this five separately and the other two together, two into three, six. That is the one valid way. Yeah, this is a product of two numbers which are co-prime, right? Another way, I can keep three separately. I can keep three separately and then two into five, 10 would be the second number. Again, they are the two co-prime numbers, their product is 30. And same way I could keep two separately and three and five, that is 15 together. So that is another way. Is there any other way? Yes, same way as earlier, right? So one number could be one and this two would be moved there. So it becomes one times 30. That's another way, all right? So I hope you have understood. Now there are four ways. So, uh, uh, do we need to do it repeatedly for every question, for everything? No, we are trying to generalize it now. So, what is going to happen here? Uh, we saw that when, then when there were two prime numbers, there were two ways. Now, when there are three prime numbers, when there are three prime numbers, how many ways do you see here? It is four ways, right? And we had already discussed that. We had already discussed that. Uh, whatever be the power of prime numbers, that doesn't matter because they need to be kept together. We cannot distribute the powers of a prime number among other numbers, right? That can't be done because then they will not remain co-prime. Okay, coming back now, uh, do you see any pattern, my dear? Do you see any pattern? Yes, pattern is there. What is that pattern? That is the important part of understanding here. This 2 is nothing but 2 power 1, right? This is 4, basically this is 2 power 2. Right? Now, this one is one short of that. This two is one short of that. So, in general, if you are having n number of prime numbers in a number, so what do you say? How many ways would be there to write that number as a product of two co-primes? It is certainly going to be 2 power n minus 1. That's it. So, that is the conclusion. If there are n prime numbers in any number, right? In any number, whatever number it is, if it contains n different prime numbers, so number of ways to write the number as a product of two co-primes, it is 2 raised to power n minus 1. So that is a shortcut 
for this whole part and we have discussed it we have uh, created it basically based on the observation uh, by seeing this pattern here right so that's it now let's come back to this question what it says it says a natural number n has a 48 factors so 48 factors have we have seen that there could be many combinations so but we want to have the find the maximum possible ways of writing this number as a product of two co-primes so you know that number of ways of writing a, num a, pro a number as a product of two co-primes depends upon that how many primes is does it contain right so more the number of primes it contain the number of ways would be maximized so if i want to maximize it if i want to find this maximum value what i need to do i need to have i need to try that this number with 48 factors is having the largest number of prime numbers right and how it could be that's very simple that's called reverse operation on factors and we already have a session on that so how to calculate reverse factors uh, reverse uh, uh, reverse uh, this operation on factors so 48 factors and how do we calculate number of factors by prime factorization of a number right so whatever number of prime numbers are there whatever is their power we increase it by one and multiply that now reverse is that we know the number of factors we break it down right we, how we had made 48 so we just need to write this 48 as product of maximum number of numbers right minimum each number should be 2 right so if I break this number 48 it could be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that's it that's it right that's it so that is the maximum parts uh, in which I can break this number 48 as a product of these numbers right so where each term each term is uh, greater than 1 now what does it represent it represents uh, uh, power of the prime numbers increased by one right so there could be a single prime number there could be a prime number with power one another prime number with power one another prime number with power one another prime number with power one and another prime number with power two right i hope it is clear so i repeat it so there could be prime number one with power one prime number two with power one prime number three with power one again prime number four with power one and uh, another prime number prime number five with power two that's it that's it right so, so how many maximum number of prime numbers does this number can contain? It's five, right? And we have reached our answer. So if there are, uh, we want to have maximum number of ways to write this number as product of two co-primes. So it should have contained a uh, maximum prime numbers. So there are five maximum prime numbers. So when this number is five, so what would be my answer? So my answer is simply going to be two power five minus one. That's two power four, which is nothing but 16. Fine. So again, this was a multi-layered question as we discussed and we are not discussing a single question. We are discussing the whole concept through single question, right? So we discussed about what are co-prime numbers, right? We discussed about what are co-prime numbers whose highest common factor is one. And if you want to write a number as product of two co-prime numbers, so how many ways are there? It depends upon the number of prime numbers in that, right? So there are only two prime numbers, we conjecture. If there are only two prime numbers, then there are two ways to write the number as a product of two co-primes. If there are three prime numbers, then there are four ways, so and so on. So based on that, we understood. If there are n prime numbers in a number, in that case, number of ways to write that number as product of two co-primes is given by two raised to the power n minus one and that became our shortcut we have created this pattern right we have created this pattern here so two raised to the power n minus one and that's what we applied here so whenever you see a similar question next time what you are going to do you're not going to spend that much time right you are directly going to apply this part right and that's i coined advantage isn't it so the two raised to the power n minus one and where what is the value of n so n is the maximum number of prime numbers so in this question we would have to see uh, that how many maximum prime numbers could have been there so that was the reverse operation on factors so 48 factors ke liye we could have maximum five prime numbers with that many powers right so whatever is the power that doesn't matter uh, for writing the number as product of co-primes so the number of ways directly depend upon the number of prime numbers so it was five so two power five minus one that is two power four which is 16 so that became our answer fine so thank you very much so we shall meet again with another video another conceptual uh, session in the next next time thank you